Alright guys, so today we're doing a first impressions video about the Ultra Duo. The reason I'm making a first impressions video rather than a full review is because uh, when I bought these shoes uh, a few months back, uh, I tried them on for a couple of runs and they didn't quite fit my feet very well, uh, so I'm gonna sell them. But I still got to run a couple of runs in them and I did like the shoe. It was just that it didn't fit me personally. So I thought today I'd just give you guys a few thoughts regarding the shoe uh, right out of the box, literally. So, first of all, this shoe is a maximal shoe. Maximal cushioning. And without getting into the long debate about maximal versus minimal, etc. Uh, suffice to say, uh, there are pros and cons to both types of shoes. And I wanted to try a more maximal shoe. So far, uh, all of my shoes essentially are Ultra shoes, the Ultra brand. I really, really like their shoes. Uh, mostly because they have a wide toe box which gives you a lot of room for your toes to splay out and naturally. And they also have a zero drop uh, type of shoe, which means that there's no elevated heel. Um, so that's why I like the Ultra brand. And so far I've run in a few of the sort of minimally cushioned shoes, but now that I'm moving up towards, I'm, I'm, I'm training for a road half marathon. I'm gonna do a fair bit of volume on the roads. I wanted a little bit more cushioning uh, while I'm out on the hard pavement. So I thought I'd give these shoes a try. And initially, you know, when I headed out the door, started running with these shoes a couple of months ago, I noticed that, oh yeah, that was nice. It was really, really nice to have that soft um, cushioning feel. Really, because if you think about it, if you head out on the trails, it's gonna be soft, you know, your shoes, uh, or even if you run barefoot, you're gonna be able to sort of feel that soft ground uh, which helps with the suspension a little bit and doesn't really impact your your uh, your feet and your your bones and your joints as much as when you're heading out on the pavement. So really what you're doing here is just simulating a softer type of ground. That's the way I like to look at it. Anyway, back to the shoe. Felt really good. It was soft and cushioned, yet it was very responsive. Like initially when I first saw the shoe before I picked it up, I was thinking, wow, that is a big shoe. Like it's just big. It's gotta be heavy and probably not very good for, for, for fast running. I was thinking I might run a lot of my training runs in this shoe, but I'm definitely not gonna run the actual half marathon in it. After one run though, or immediately when I started running in them, I noticed that first of all, they are super light. I don't know exactly the weight. Um, I'll uh, put it in the description, some specs. But it is super light. It's one of the lightest shoes that I've ever had, really. Which is strange, because it's one of the biggest, too, in terms of the cushioning and everything. So it's really light. Um, the sole is made of EVA and rubber. Um, and then there's a synthetic leather here, so it's a vegan shoe. And as I headed out, it was just light on my feet. And the cushioning, although it was very comfortable and cushioned, it was still responsive. It was, it was, I, I didn't feel like I was just like, you know, like just running in mud or something like that. I felt like I was really, you know, it was firm, uh, um, but uh, soft at the same time. Strange, but, but true. The toe box is a little bit wider than some of the other uh, Ultra models, uh, like in the very front here. My problem was that I was, you know, it wasn't actually wide enough for me here on the midfoot. It was very wide on the front, but not at the midfoot. And that's where my foot is the widest, so it didn't really work well for me. Uh, the laces are of a different type than a lot of the other Ultra uh, shoes, uh, but they were great. They worked fine. They were maybe a little bit long, but yeah, no problem. The upper material is, um, it's not the most comfortable. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's not like super soft. It's not like a knit upper or anything like that. Like at the, you know, the Ultra Escalante uh, has a knit upper and it's very, you know, everyone's, it's really in vogue right now to have knit uppers and they are really comfortable. This one is not like that, but I didn't ha notice any problems though, but it was just, it's, it's very, I don't know. I don't know what, what word I'm gonna use to describe it, but it's just, you can sort of hear how it's, how, how it is. It does contribute to keeping it very light though, because it is very minimal. You can really see through it here. 
So it's definitely not a shoe that you would run on the trails with or anything like that. It just, you know, you'll easily rip into it with a root or a rock or something like that. So this is a road shoe. This is a hardcore uh, road shoe, really. Maybe you can go on the gravel roads a little bit, of course, but you don't want to go on true trails. Uh, the bottom here, uh, of course, to save weight, they have all these little holes here, uh, which works fine, but the problem is that it catches rocks. As you can see here, there's some rocks in there. Gravel, um, definitely not ideal, uh, pretty annoying to be honest. Anyway, I don't think there's much more to say really. It is a very lightweight, quite responsive, heavily cushioned shoe from Ultra, the Ultra Duo. It is um, probably comfortable. As I said, it wasn't comfortable for me because of my wide midfoot, but uh, maybe it's gonna be comfortable for you. I think it looks pretty awesome. Kind of looks like the Hoka shoes a little bit, which I always think look really cool. Um, and yeah, that's all I really have to say about these shoes. Unfortunately, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sell them, but that's okay. I've got a bunch of other shoes I can run in anyway. If you're interested to buy the shoes, um, I'll put an affiliate link in the description where you can click and buy the shoes. It's, I, you know, I bought these shoes with my own money, so I'm not sponsored to make this review or anything like that. And if you do click the affiliate link, I will get paid if you choose to buy. But the price will remain the same for you anyway. So uh, feel free to click those links if you're interested in buying. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you tried these shoes? Have you, do you tr have you tried any of the other Ultra shoes? Which ones would you recommend? Uh, do you have wide feet like me? Right now I'm trying the, the Ultra Timp shoes. Uh, and they're pretty wide and nice. So far, so good. Um, yeah, that's all for today. Hope your day is going well. Thanks for watching. Bye now.